Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. This pick a card reading is a forecast into February. So we're going to look at the month of February and what to expect. So as always, we have our three piles here with group one on the left through to group three on the right. The timestamps will be in the description box below along with the cards that I'm using. If you'd like a private reading with me, you can book that in the description box also. That being said, I'll leave you with your selection and I hope you enjoy your reading. Hey group one, welcome to your reading. If you've chosen the pink or quartz, then this is going to be your reading. So I just, I just recorded it and in the intro just a second ago and a few times and I keep saying group two. I don't know what's going on in the last few weeks where I start group one and I just, hey group two, or I start going into group two. So clearly there's some connection there where a lot of people may be watching both readings um, or it's important that you do and, and mention it for that reason perhaps. But anyway, it's, it's crazy how much that keeps happening. So let's stick. This is group one, let's stick to that. I'll try and keep that in mind this whole time. If I say group two, it's that accident. So anyway, group one, I have a forecast for February here for you and I've found a little spread online that I like. So we're gonna go with that. So we're just looking at the current self and where you find yourself right now, what the theme of the month is going to be, um, any key goals that you are to be pursuing right now, any obstacles to overcome, um, a great accomplishment you will achieve, what to avoid, what to embrace, where to find support and a little advice for you. And of course, some Oracle cards as well. So I'll probably have to keep referring back to where I am in this reading as I get to know the spread. But yeah, so some of the dominant energies in your month are going to be Aries, Capricorn, Gemini for you. Uh, yes. Those are the main energies. Oh, and Libra too, Libra as well. So they may be a sign you're dealing with. It might be a part of your your chart that is activated right now. Um, yeah, could be yourself as well. So we're going to start with the current self and we have the Ace of Cups for the current self, which is interesting because you also have the Oracle card, Make Time for Self Love, Last Quarter Moon in Libra. So. And even this one here with the um, balsamic moon time for healing, all of these cards are the current self right now. So this is a time for you to be spending a lot of time with self-love and being a little bit more gentle with yourself, refilling your cup perhaps. There may be new love on the horizon for some people in group one, but for right now it is it's more about your self-love and, and perhaps even moving away from things that aren't good for you as well. So is it definitely a time to be cooking really nutritious food and just getting that from the cauldron there so things that are nicely slow cooked maybe some stews or something to um, help with gut health or something like that and just feel like this is a lot to do with health as well focusing on what you're digesting so that can also be the energies around you the people and what you're listening to and um, yeah just surrounding yourself with gentle energy this month and that's going to be the most important thing is self-love so the theme of the month is the Ten of Swords. So you definitely have working through some endings right now. This could be the end of a relationship. It could also be moving on in your career. You know what this is about for you, I would say, already. Um, so we've got self-love and endings. So it's definitely a good time to be distancing yourself and no apologies there as well. Like it, it let things fall if they are falling. And with this pussycat here as well, I'm getting that message to protect yourself from um, any anyone that is not um, safe or supportive to be around for you because that pussycat is there protecting this person who's been hurt. And this this situation, the theme of the month, you may see that, you know, a lot of things around you that are not working will be falling away and it's important to let them do so. Um, and protect yourself as you go through any of that as well. The key goal to pursue this month is the Page of Cups. Definitely a time to be creative. Any of these ideas that you thought were impossible, things like that, which is interesting because you've also got the Blue Moon Believe in the Impossible this month. So there's some dream that you have, some creative dream perhaps, um, that is it is possible and it's time to invest some of that energy into that, get a little curious, get a little adventurous, 
um, be at your creation station in the month of February because there's some things that you're going to be achieving or even starting that will achieve later, which is interesting. You've got the Capricorn card of achieve in your reading as well. So you are working towards something new, perhaps building something here for yourself. Um, and it's also a good card for spending time with friends as well. It's a, it can be a friendship card, a companion card, platonic friendships, people that are there for you. Um, you pussycat familiar, you know, your, your pets as well, family, things like that. It's, a, it's also a card of forgiveness and softening. And a lot of your reading is um, about softening. I think there's also a message there of just letting yourself be um, maybe in your own space a bit more or giving yourself the opportunity to be a little vulnerable maybe like I just feel like this card is also talking about oh I feel like it's also talking about um, not yeah be, I think it's more to say like to be careful who you let in your energy in your space or something like this because it feels very much like when certain people are around you or, or you're around certain people or things whatever it might be um it it seems to distract you or um not give you enough space that's needed to really slip into who you are or a certain state that you need to achieve if that makes sense um not being afraid to get a little messy as well, of course, with that process there of your creation process, not being afraid to make mistakes. Um, but yeah, you've got, a, you've got something that you are that's beautiful that you're creating. So the obstacle of this month is the lovers. The obstacle may be around a choice that you need to make. It could be with regards to relationships. Of course, it can be with regards to other things as well. But when we see the lovers, we know that it is a choice that you need to make and that's going to be your obstacle this month. So careful making your choices. So we have got the card wisdom here. So it is time to really be thinking, um, connecting to your wisdom when you're making choices and thinking things through, thinking things clearly, focusing on the bigger picture of what you want to achieve in your life. I'm getting a message about instant gratification. So if there's any bad behaviors, that sort of thing, bad behaviors, what I wanna say, bad habits, that's the one, that you are trying to knock on the head, now is a good time to do that. And it may be a challenge to do that with the um, lover's card. The lover's card can also be about commitment. So your obstacle might be staying committed to the things that you want to change or the things that you want to you know, cultivate. So the lovers is there and lovers of course can be a challenge in love, um, a challenge with a, a relationship um, or, or a past relationship. We have got the Ten of Swords there and as well. And it can also be about like embracing new love that may be a challenge for you, finding new love or being even ready for that type of thing. Maybe a lot, some of you are not quite open to somebody else right now, that sort of thing. So we have the, your accomplishment this month is the nine of wands. It's your perseverance that's going to be your greatest accomplishment this month. You may be feeling really tired and tested at times. This person is the wounded warrior of the tarot. So they have gone through a great deal. They've got their bandage on their head and they're feeling pretty worn out. So, and even the pussy cat up in the tree is a bit scared. So you, it, it does look like there's going to be a few challenges, but that's why it's so important to make time for self-love this month and to really step into the, a time for healing for yourself and away from energies that are um, not harmonious with that. Um, Nine of Wands is the card of perseverance. So even when you feel like you just don't have any energy left to give or to push, you will. You will find that energy and you will achieve. That's why Capricorn is here. Capricorn is that energy of achieving. It takes a long time to achieve what a Capricorn wants to achieve, but they get there in the end. That's the thing about Capricorn. They achieve great things in life, but um, it just does take a lot of commitment and time to get there. So you have the what to avoid is the emperor this month. You have to avoid authority figures perhaps that are maybe a little... What, it, what was I going to say when I first saw it? Just dictating energy. I think this is about somebody who may be trying to be a bit controlling towards you, somebody who wants things how they want things. This could be a very pushy person. Um, it could be a father energy with the emperor being here. It is the father of the tarot. 
Um, it could be your father, a father of your children. It could be anyone, of course. It could be your boss. But this is the energy you want to avoid. But also within yourself as well, to not be very pushy with other people, to not be domineering, to just sort of step back and let go, to not try to um, control people and situations and outcomes. So stay away from tyrant type people. Um, yeah, that, that is the vibe. It is, it is Aries energy if that re resonates with you there as well. So this is the energy to avoid being or being around. So the energy to embrace is the Seven of Wands. You have here somebody who is defending themselves and this is what you need to do is stick to your truth, stick to you, what you know and honor your own feelings and emotions about a situation here. Um, this is a card of defending yourself and telling people where to go if necessary, um, sticking up for yourself, protecting yourself and yeah, doing what's required to liberate yourself out of a situation that is really challenging, to ignore people that are either spreading gossip or being um, just causing trouble, um, being contrary, uh, making accusations. There's lots of energy that could be coming towards you um, in this particular card, but what you, this is what's to embrace is to stand up for yourself in the face of any of that and believe in what you're about and believe in what you're doing. Where to find support this month is the King of Pentacles. So this can be a very stable energy in your life. Somebody, this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Um, it is somebody who is, it doesn't necessarily have to be someone that can be within your own energy, but if it is someone else, this can be uh, somebody who's really uh, got their stuff together, I guess. Like this is, it can be um, someone who is gentle and, grounded and practical and there's somebody who has good advice so any practical grounded advice any advice this is business orientated person too sometimes they can but they get it all done they tend to it all they're they're great fathers great uh, leaders great uh, business owners usually acquiring an abundance in life that type of energy that type of person if it's within yourself then this energy is to be more nurturing of your goals more maybe financially um, considerate this month trying to put your money in the right places um, and yeah really investing perhaps in your own business in your own um, financial situation in the physical world the physical things that you need to be done pentacles are all about the physical so this is getting jobs done and showing up and just being a total provider and king, maybe in your own masculine energy, ticking things off and getting things done. That's probably why the, again, the Capricorn Achieve card is here for you. It is time for you to not be held back, but to go and achieve your dreams, believe in the impossible there, start creating, start bringing something to form perhaps. But of course, if this is another person, by all means, lean on them, have have a good time, maybe share a cup of tea and a cake. We've got a big cake there. This is somebody who is a little bit indulgent. So maybe indulging could be something to embrace this month and indulge in something nice for yourself and um, enjoy all that you've already done for yourself as well. I think that's a big one, having a lot of gratitude for all that you've already got. And then the advice um, card is the Knight of Pen Wands. So, this can be an um, energy that is inconsistent at times. So if this is a person, this advice is to avoid people in situations that are inconsistent, hot and cold, that type of thing. If this is advice for you to embrace this energy, then this is asking you to be more motivated perhaps, or so you're going to be more motivated. So, well, it is the advice, so it's less predictive. The advice is to go with those motivations. If you have the inspiration, then get up and do it. If you've got and uh, watched a little, like a video of a certain exercise you want to do, then go and practice it, don't delay, that type of thing, or a recipe you want to cook, or a certain uh, medium of art you want to try out, things like that, like go with the inspiration as it comes up. Um, this month so don't be afraid to get a little messy with your art especially the nine of cups is the underlying energy of this reading so you have got some wishes coming in this month although there is some things ending as well maybe that's part of your wish maybe having things fall away so that you can have that freedom and space to grow and flourish in the way you're meant to um, the Nine of Cups shows a lot of wish fulfillment coming in for you this month. This is a good month for you. Underneath that is the chariot and she's a little nervous and uncertain of which way to go. 
The way of the past, you're at a crossroads that's very clear here. So the way of the past is not the way to go back to. Please do move forward into the future this month uh, in any way that you can because it is leading you towards greater things and your dreams to be fulfilled here for sure. So don't go back to the past is definitely a message. Don't be impulse, uh, impulsive in, well no, that, yeah. So I'm like, you do be impulsive with your creative things, but don't be in, um, I don't know if impulsive is the right word I wanna say. Just don't return to things that you know are no, no longer serving you, that type of thing. So we had self-love, wisdom, achieve, we've read all those. So we've also got in your oracle cards, these are your personal power cards for this month and they all go together quite well. I speak highly of myself, I am good enough and I am confident are all your personal power cards for this month. So this is a time to really be there for you. I think this is, a, um, especially with the self-love card and like a time for healing, this is a time for you to honor yourself. And um, I, f I feel like there's a bit of healing you will go through this month where I'm not sure if it's different practices you'll engage in or practitioners you'll work with. Um, meditations you'll use but I do feel like you're doing a bit of investigating with your love with your self-worth um, and your confidence and it's something you're going to be building this month and making sure that you have nice healthy gentle boundaries like I don't like I feel like firm boundaries are something for some reason maybe you, you do need them in certain places with certain people yes but I also feel like it's something you want to soften into like to not be so spiky sometimes with your boundaries, but to just hold them with sovereignty and grace um, because maybe you're wanting to empower yourself in a softer way. That could be a bit of a message there too. I am good enough. And that's also for what you want to achieve as well. I feel like that comes back to believing in the impossible. You are good enough to create your dreams and the things that you want are there for you to reach for. There's, It's not... Um, it's not out of reach, whatever that thing is for you that you may feel is. We also have the card candles. That was your quality time card. So maybe you'd like to do some candle rituals. Um, you might like to make candles or just have them burning all the time. Um, I know I do. And then in your tea leaf oracle, a couple of interesting ones here. You've got dogs getting together with friends. Definitely recommend this month spending time with friends. You've got the page of cups here. It would be really, really good for you to fill your cup with some good friends. You have finger warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. And then I asked for another one in around that. And we got club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. That could be the emperor energy we're seeing in your reading. Um, but you know, it is a warning that someone's going to be pushy with you, and but you are now free, pre-warned, and know how to handle that. Uh, with seven of wands, right? And just no, you're going to stand up for what you believe in and do the right thing by yourself. And we have also valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. And that's that. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. For what I was saying before about boundaries with grace and sovereignty rather than um, force or put the, you know, that type of thing. There's a softening happening here without, um, you know, not, yeah, just a softening, that's all. So group one, that is what I have for you. Oh, no, no, I want to do some, I haven't done these in a long time. So I wanted to do um, some, what are they called? Charms. So let's see what comes up for group one. Oh, there's a lot there. Okay. well. Okay, so this for some of you, you may be um, leaving behind a whole group of friends or a community here with this because this one has fallen down on the Ten of Swords. And this one is my uh, charm of circles, groups, communities, people coming together for a, for a shared cause. And it fell downwards on here. So you may be going sort of changing up your community, your network, these sorts of things this month. So we've got a fair few here. We've got Carrot. We've got carrot. So I'm feeling for carrot definitely about nutrition and root vegetables and staying grounded, things like that. And I got I did pick up on stew earlier as well. Some of you might be um, cooking really healthy sort of stews or something. But yeah, definitely nutrition is a highlight this month. Cooperative people working together with people that are um, that work with you, like really people that support you, people that hold you. Um, and you can hold them too. Like that is definitely a theme. You're, you're going to be looking for those people. The, the, um, the binoculars were looking at that. 
that particular knot and nut and bolt there. So I feel like you're going to be also trying to figure out the intricacies of perhaps even yourself. We've got here is shopping as well. You might be buying something sweet for yourself. I have a bit of disconnect with play, something you might be trying to find a bit more play in your, maybe your spiritual practices, finding a bit more fun there. We've got the beautiful peg, which talks about practicality. It's a bit of a Knight of Pentacles vibe. It's about getting the chores done, getting the things done, doing the work. Um, but doing it with joy too though. It's a sweet little, sweet little peg. You've got Jupiter, so there's definitely blessings coming in for you. That's my little Jupiter charm. And you've got the Nine of Cups here, so you have definitely got some beautiful wishes coming in. Oh, what else can I see here? And, and yeah, the abundance in your dreams. Look at that, you've got the dream catcher with the citrine next to it. So this is again saying believe in the impossible because you'll have a lot of abundance come from something you dream of that is different unconventional ideas wild ideas your dreams this is the empress stone in a way it says pilgrim on the back and it's this is the, the charm we get when somebody is really going through a deep becoming or awakening and it there's so much behind them and so much yet to go but this to me is somebody who is mastering or creating a, a the master, there's something about mastery of self in, within this one. They're creating their best self and they're always striving towards that. That's something that you're really striving towards right now. The crab claw is there, so there is a need for protection. Definitely. There's something here about ancestors as well. It may be, there's, there's something, yeah, so maybe um, something along with family lines here where you may be learning from... Um, your, maybe your parents, particularly their upbringing that they have with their parents, like grandmotherly type energy is here. And so I'm feeling for that ancestry type vibe there. What's this one facing down? The little fox, watch out for sneaky behavior. I didn't even see that one. That's a sneaky little fox and he was face down. So you've definitely got to keep your eyes, keep stay vigilant with energies that you don't trust and just keep loving and protecting yourself. You may feel a little distant from friends right now, but that's okay. The key is in your meditation practices and your spiritual practices right now. I'm also seeing the little rose face down too. So maybe it's not quite time for romance with other people, but it might be on your mind and something that is in the near future. Perhaps I'm going to be doing a new love reading soon, I feel. And yes, I think that's about it for the charms. I hope you enjoy the little charms. It's been so long. I can't even remember what's in there. But yeah, they're very cute little additions. And good fun at circles. People can rummage through them and I like to read how they land as well. So group one, that is what I had for you in this reading. I hope that it has given you some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance for the month of February. And I look forward to reading for you all again soon. Bye. Hey group two, and welcome to your reading. You've chosen the beautiful leopard light fairy. And this one is for you. This one was a sweet little gift from my beautiful friend, Laura. I love this fairy so much. So, uh, Leopard Light is a wonderful stone for emotional healing and reducing stress and feelings of depression. So, it is an emotional time perhaps for you or a time to honour your emotions and feel your emotions and maybe go through a bit of a transition with that. A bit of healing, a bit of emotional awareness perhaps is necessary here and bringing a bit of balance back in. But anyway, this is your February forecast reading and I've found a little spread online that I've liked. So we're going to be looking at various areas of your life. We'll be starting with the current self, the theme of the month. We've got the key goals to pursue, um, obstacles, your accomplishment for this month what to avoid, what to embrace, where to find support and some advice at the end there. And then of course your Oracle cards as well. So, uh, and I'll do some charms at the end. Um, I haven't done them in a while, so that'll be fun. Hopefully I remember to, otherwise I'm sorry, but I should remember. I nearly forgot group one's charms. Anyway, group two, the current self. Well, two cards came here and I took them both. So you have the magician, and the Ace of Pentacles here, two one cards. You might be getting a bit of number synchronicities at the moment because you've got two cards with 33 on them as well. Um, 333 is definitely a number for 
us in this house, but yeah, you might be getting a bit of number number messages for you right now. So the current self is somebody who is within their power, stepping into your power, stepping back into your power might be the case for some of you here. With the Ace of Pentacles here, you're at a fresh new beginning and you're ready to start something new. Maybe it's a new health regime, maybe it's a new project you want to get on the way with, maybe it's um, a, a new, who knows what this could be. You could be moving house and getting packing, getting ready and sort of doing everything required to find that place. You could be planning a wedding, you could be doing so many things, right? The um, magician is here because the, you are utilizing all of your resources and you have all the resources that are required as well. You, you, when, I, when I see this, it's like this month, it's going to be about you making it happen, you getting it done, you achieving those results. This is going to be a really good month for you with regards to stepping in your power and, and achieving things. You're going to make a lot of progress. There's a lot of productivity here for you. Um, there's there's life challenges as well as we'll move through it but right now to see that your current self and as you enter this month is you're ready to put your foot down maybe head down bum up do a bit of work that could be it there as well the theme of this month is going to be a bit of work too ten of wands is here so this is this is feeling a little bit uh, overwhelmed and overburdened right now feeling a little bit, well, the theme of the month, so maybe not right now, but this month may get a little bit heavy for you. You may feel like you just can't do it all, that you've got so much to get done. Um, you could be, you know, working, studying and a parent. You could be um, having to travel really far distances. You know, you could have to, uh, having to take on a lot of other people's burdens and trouble, that sort of thing. People might be you might just be feeling it a little extra heavy this month with so much on your plate, but I don't think this is a really t overly negative energy in this particular reading, especially given as you're entering this month with the magician. Um, I really do feel like yeah, you, this is a t an empowering card in a sense at, because, well, perhaps the empowerment comes from saying, hey, no, I can't actually do this, you know, or, you know, well, that's, that's a problem I think you're going to have to fix and I'm not going to do it for you, that type of thing, because the Ten of Wands can sometimes be taking on burdens that aren't theirs and things that aren't necessary for them to take on. So the theme of the month might be coming, get becoming aware of where you are not able to be flexible anymore, um, and that's, that's not a bad thing. So the key goal to pursue this month is the Eight of Wands. I love that for you. Eight of Wands, to me, is a card about finishing something that you have started. So continuum of energy. Um, maybe picking something up that you once stopped as well can be a hint in this card. It's also a card of information and messages, um, communication, uh, things like that may be really important to you this month and getting your message across to people very clearly or sharing your message out into the world. That could be something as well. Sharing magic in the world. You've got the magician and this, if, if I chose, you know, if I created this deck and without any, um, sorry, if I bought this deck and didn't see what any of the cards were, I would assume that is the magician just by the imagery. So you really are in your power this month and that is a key goal to pursue is um, something that you are working on with regards to yeah information communication passion learning perhaps there's a lot of there's a lot of energy to be focused on something that's very important to you i feel like you just yeah you're really pulling a lot of magic into your your world your home your lifestyle you know your daily routines little things like that you might be just feeling a little bit more empowered or um progressive like getting getting productive that's the one productive and of course um, intuitive as well like this is definitely a bit of a crystal ball moment here that she's looking into so for some of you the biggest thing to work on this month this is a goal to pursue is perhaps connecting to your messages and your intuition and maybe sharing those messages with people that it's where it's necessary your obstacle this month is the seven of wands. So the obstacle is going to be, maybe it's in the office as this woman shows. Um, maybe it's to do with, you know, the, um, the way the business is going that you work for or that you own. That could be a challenge. There could be challenge in results in that way. This can also, this is a card typically though about, um, about liberating yourself or protecting yourself or defending yourself. So the obstacle this month may be that you're dealing with someone who's very defensive or you are needing to stand up for yourself at a time when you are being pressured or 
you know, the Ten of Wands perhaps, this is, might be a time, this is a Seven of Wands, so the obstacle might be just sort of letting people know that, you, you know, that's not okay with me. I can't, I can't do this, that type of thing. Standing up for yourself it will be a bit of an obstacle, but you can do it. You've got the magician, you've got the eight of wands too. So this is about speaking clearly and you know speaking from where where you are where you are currently and not putting a mask on about that, but being very honest about where you are, what you want, where you're going. Um, your accomplishment this month is really cool because you've got two major arcanas, the devil and temperance. So you are going to be kicking some sort of bad habit potentially. This could be an unhealthy relationship to food. This could be an unhealthy relationship. Uh, it could be also about your commitments at work. This can be so many things and you're bringing more moderation or balance into a situation that has once had control over you and has not been healthy for you. Something out of the balance is coming into the balance and it's a huge accomplishment. Some of you might be quitting drinking or smoking or something that's really bad for your health and finding alternatives and finding a lot more balance this month. That's in your accomplishment to see that because temperance is abstaining at times. Devil, we know can be addictions and unhealthy cycles. So you are, yeah, you are definitely making a really great achievement there with something you have struggled with. Maybe it's sugar, um, you know, who knows what it is, but all of the above perhaps. Anyway, what to avoid this month? We have the seven of cups. What to avoid is too much uh, too much overwhelm, too much information, too many distractions, um, seeking seeking things externally too much rather than focusing on that one thing you know you need to be focusing on. Um, where there's, I kind of get this feeling that keep it simple in a sense here, like where there is this feeling of overwhelm or too many options or um, you're not so certain if I should go this way or that way, don't go chasing um, rabbit I was gonna, I was gonna say don't go chasing waterfalls um, don't go chasing like little rabbits down rabbit holes or anything like that this month if, if you're certain about this is the thing you need to be engaging your time in or this is the person you should be spending your time with um, or engaging your energy with then you will know very clearly but if you are uncertain then just don't that's the message of this month if you're not sure then just step back and focus on what you are sure about. So to avoid distractions and avoid overcomplication, um, overwhelm, yeah. So the what to embrace, we have the Ten of Cups, we have a marriage situation here, maybe some of you are planning a wedding or getting married and congratulations if that is for you, what a beautiful uh, thing to plan for but um, we also have this is the thing to embrace and so this could be about your embracing your closest loved ones embracing how you truly feel embracing what makes you feel the happiest of all the ten of cups so embracing your ten of cups what does that look like for you what so if, if you're in a situation this month where you, or, or a relationship whatever where you're not feeling like it's right for you maybe logically you can say you know everything seems fine but you're feeling like it's not okay something may come up in that area and so you are to honor your feelings here you've got this card um, first quarter moon in full moon in no first quarter moon in pisces and ten of cups in what to embrace so embrace your feelings and what is going to make you happy being very honest about that because when we have honor your feelings it's a, usually we'd see a message like that when somebody is perhaps hiding how they really feel and hasn't felt comfortable to say hey that's not okay with me or I'm actually not feeling it anymore or whatever it might be so what do you want for yourself? If that is it's with regards to a relationship and you're wanting this, but you're feeling like it's not going there, that type of thing maybe could be the message, but um, maybe it is going there um, and it's about something else. So, you know, this is about your happy and that's what you're to embrace, the long-term happiness as well when we're looking at this, not short-term grat gratification or happiness now, this is long-term planning. So where to find support? When I first saw the Nine of Pentacles, I thought, well, you've got yourself. I just saw 1111 then on your recording and you do, you've got yourself. You've got your spirit connection and yeah, it's deep. So this Nine of Pentacles, I really do feel like where to find support in, within yourself. But in saying that, 
I still feel like this message is about independent people. So find your support from people who are standing on their own two feet, people who are who have the space to let you in. Pick your audience, perhaps. You know, these this is Nine of Pentacles energy. This is someone who is accomplished. They're grateful. They're connected to all that they do and have in this life at this time you know we ebb and flow but this person at this time is in a really good place and they have the space to lend an ear to you that type of thing so maybe um that is a bit of a message for someone to pick your audience and and choose advice or choose support from people who have the capacity to give it um but mostly this message i felt was actually you supporting yourself this month so being independent and so maybe also there might be times when you typically it's so 12 12 then there might be times where you um, lean on certain things, devices, we've got the devil here, people um, that can support you perhaps in that moment, but it also might come at a price, that type of thing. So being aware of that and not falling for it or going towards it, but just being there for you instead so that you don't um, end up in that situation, if, if that resonates. <clears throat> and then the advice for you is the justice card in this reading. I didn't actually read the signs at the start. We've got Libra here, Capricorn, Sagittarius um, and Pisces in your reading. I forgot to say so but it doesn't matter too much anyway. Never does matter that much unless you feel like it does. So um, and I think a lot of the time people can who already understand astrology or their own chart can like that really can be added information for them that helps them with the understanding of this reading or their own personal interpretation when listening to readings. But if that's not resonating, the signs when they come up don't resonate with you, then just leave them. But anyway, justice as the advice is asking there to be repercussions where necessary. And I think this might be you delivering them at times this month, making sure that people are... Um, are fair and honest and truthful and yourself as well the advice is to be fair honest and truthful um, and allow the chips to fall where they may perhaps in a situation here as well so underlying energy is the four of wands a good time to be around like-minded souls and community there could be a beautiful event coming up too this month with the four of um, wands being there we've got a halloween image but it could be any type of festivity um, but the underlying energy is showing that the time in the home space is going to be very nurturing towards it for you. Um, so perhaps even spending a bit of time redecorating or deep, deep cleaning, deep spring cleaning for some people. Um, you may be just reorganizing. There's a lot of stuff around the home space in this card as well as community as well. So a bit of gardening won't go astray this month too. Um, Underneath that is the Page of Pentacles. And this person's in nature and they're working on a project. They've got a bit of unseen helpers there, little spirit helpers. So it also shows, I feel, that there will be a lot of productivity for you this, this month. We've already said that you will be getting a lot done, achieving a lot. But you'll be getting a lot of help along the way too, like information integrating for you. You're having a broader understanding of your work or your capabilities and spending time yeah in communities that are um supportive of each other and yeah that type of thing so we have some oracle cards for your reading which first one was the honor your feelings for first quarter moon in pisces so it is a time to be very honest with how you're feeling with other people as well with yourself and others we have the card 33 nature's beauty is a really pretty card this is definitely a, t a calling to spend a bit more time in nature this month maybe going for little walks to ground yourself at the end of your day um we've got a bit of like city imagery here and then and, and nature so you might be wanting to get out of the hustle and bustle a little bit or just sort of retreat maybe going on a retreat this month that would be really really nice um I'm seeing the citrus here as well so and again I'm getting like healthy nutrition things like that being very important for you um, and just yeah taking little strolls in nature I mostly feel for this one but also natural beauty so you might be switching over some of your products to more natural products this month and just being a little bit more aware of some of the toxins that you absorb in your skin from certain products from the um, you know from wherever 
So I do feel like going the nature way a bit here with natural be nature's beauty and enjoying the um, things a bit maybe more organics or something. It might be a bit more important for you right now. We have the card half, Vesta. And I'm going to read the challenge and the, and the gift of this card. So the, the challenge of Vesta warns you to share yourself rather than sacrifice yourself. And that's the judgment there too, isn't it? Um, with your advice. Your hard work at holding the situation together may be ignored or taken for granted unless you know your worth. The gift of this card is to find the temple within, a place of quiet safety where you can tend the fires and carry the sacred temple <clears throat> and carry the sacred temple with you always. Oh, there's an action here as well. <clears throat> I didn't realise I'm gonna read that too. Evaluate and have a little tea. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. Evaluate yourself and your life. Each human's task is to help reduce the total suffering on earth and increase the total joy. Your joy and suffering matter as much, neither more nor less than anyone else's. Do not burn yourself up for another's cause, nor withhold your warmth, but share what you have to offer. This is not a situation where you need to take sides. Come back to the center, to the flame of your heart and your core values. Focus on that center flame instead of the personalities involved. Remember that what matters. Find that deep calm within. Light a candle with a prayer and use it to bring your focus to the center and let the rest fall away. Then decide, advise and operate from there. It may be a time to take a retreat. We said that before. Um, a chance to clear yourself, clear your energy fields, cleanse your environment, reclaim your temple. And if relationship is if a relationship is truly of value and important to your soul, the person or team you're involved with will honor your process. So honor you this month, take your time out. Definitely beautiful message. I'm glad I read the action too there. Um, you have new moon here, a new start is coming. It really was quite beautiful to sat directly with the um, sweet little fairy. So, I like that. In your personal power, your personal power this month is that you release what does not serve. I release what does not serve me. It's within your power to do so this month. And also come into the belief, knowing, understanding, or um, practice of being a healer. I am a healer. These are your two personal powers for this month releasing and healing and perhaps becoming a healer helping other people as well that type of thing this month you're going to be there for other people of course I see that with the ten of wands a magician like you're definitely someone who um, offers a lot to people and is very supportive and giving um, very accommodating at times I feel as well so just remember you um, Self-care prompts, you had another 33 here, and this is dance, this is going to be this month your um, quality time it was. So any quality time well spent will be spent, well, will be well spent dancing, I should say. And then some tea leaf to finish off your reading. So we had ant, work, achievement, success, so we kind of made it very clear, you're going to be working hard this month and getting a lot done. Uh, and then the solid foundation, success with effort, of course, with the tower, you're definitely building something up to last. You, I feel like you're getting a bit of a more of a solid foundation underneath yourself here with this one. So I think you might be doing things to organize your space or organize so that you have more productivity, productivity supporting yourself, like thinking ahead, like, you know, like like washing the dishes the night before because you know future Amber wants a clean kitchen for the free run of the morning, that type of thing. Thinking ahead, I just saw 2020 then, getting all the numbers today. Um, so thinking ahead so you can so you can build the solid foundation there. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. We kind of felt a bit of that with the eight of wands, didn't we? We definitely know the group twos are very intuitive and it's worthwhile trusting that intuition there for a reason you've got moon with changes in your life and that's that new start coming isn't it we got with the moon card you definitely got some changes some release and something fresh and then you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life so keep on going that's the eight of wands as well i do feel it's eight of wands is often a lot of arrows shooting off in a direction and you are on the right path so keep going don't give up that type of message there so nearly forgot let's get some charms for our group two is that enough? The key is sticking out. 
that I want. I'll just, if they want to fall on the table, they will. Okay, that'll do. Nice, you've got Jupiter. Group one got Jupiter as well. Ah, oh, you got a sweet little teddy bear. A, a message of comfort and finding comfort. And finding comfort in things perhaps that were from your childhood as well. Um, children may be very important to you this month with the little teddy bear, but just bringing comfort to people and to yourself. Um, little things that, yeah, like just maybe carrying crystals in your pocket, that type of thing, like having things with you that soothe you, doing sweet things that are comforting towards yourself. You've got the carrot here, so there's a message of nutrition. I'm also feeling like eye health as well, so some people might need to get a little eye check. Um, you might be needing a new prescription if you wear glasses or something like that. Um, but definitely a message of nutrition, root vegetables and grounding with the carrot, making, making some nice um, soups and things. Um, you have the, the beautiful heart with these gold rings around it that fell near the Ten of Cups as well. So what do I feel for that one? It feels a little bit more like a protect your heart message with that one here. So I, yeah, just a, it is a month to be to be careful and protect your heart. I believe that um, Mars and Pluto are conjunct during Valentine's Day anyway. So it's not, it's, it's, a, it's a time to be, don't expect too much and um, be, be aware. You know, that Pluto, Pluto vibe. Um, it'd be interesting. I should look a little bit more into that and do a little post because I feel like it's significant for this particular time. Anyway, we've got the Jupiter charm. Did I say that? Jupiter is all about expansion and blessings in your world. So you're going to see an expansion. Perhaps this could be monetary or just some personal growth. You're just seeing a lot of expansion. We've got the magician here, so we're not surprised. Again, more message of hard work. You've got the peg. Peg is all about getting the job done um, and you know tending to all the little things that need to be done, but tending them to them with a grateful heart and being very um, present with each task. Um, the extra housework might not go astray at this time. Spring cleaning, I think we already mentioned. Uh, you've got the lapis lazuli little piece here as well. So you can, when I, f when I feel this particular piece, especially given that it's near this one charm that's, it says pilgrim on the back, but this, this to me is, it came up actually in group one as well. You may feel drawn to group one. I know there's been a connection between you guys lately. And um, I feel here that you are, you are going through some sort of calling and awakening towards becoming a better self, a mastered self. You've got the magician here, so I'm not surprised, but this is something to do with your destiny. And for some of you, this is to do with um, like galactic beings or beings from other places that you connect with. And um, <clears throat> whether that's consciously or subconsciously, there's, there's something there for you this month. You could be coming, becoming more aware <clears throat> of those connections that you have. And that's why we, why the psychic um, tea leaf came out. It might be necessary for you to trust the, what you're getting when it comes to connection in that way. And, um, but it is a, it's definitely a uh, message of stepping into your, your becoming in a way, like um, very magician energy, I feel, but it's more connected to other beings guiding you. Um, on this great journey, which that's why pilgrimage, I believe, is on the back because it really shows that everything you've done so far has brought you to this point and given you everything you need to achieve what you want to achieve in this next chapter. Um, even if that next chapter is over the next few years, like there's what you have, your experiences brought you to this point and it's going to be really, really valuable and you're going to see that if you haven't already. I dare say you already do know that, but it's going to become abundantly clear this month that um, everything's happened the way it has for a good reason. It's given you what you've needed to move forward and become your greatest self. So yeah, some cute little charms to finish your reading. That was fun, it's been a while. So that's what I have for you group two in this reading. I hope it's given you some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance and I look forward to reading for you all again soon. Bye group two. Hey group three, welcome to your reading. If you've chosen the angel aura, then this one is for you. 
So Angel Auto is treated with vaporized platinum to make it all beautiful. So you might be doing your own little treatments or beauty upgrades, can be that message. But beauty seen in the world um, is usually a reflection of part of our inner self or our inner state to see beauty in all things. Um, comes from within as well so that might be a focus for you trying to maybe see things from a more positive perspective maybe or just trying to see the blessing or the beauty in a situation when it's difficult that could be it too so group three we're doing a February forecast reading for you and I found a little uh, spread I liked online so we'll use that so we're going to be looking at the current self the theme of the month any key goal to pursue an obstacle, an accomplishment, what to avoid, what to embrace, where to find support and some advice. And then of course we've got our oracle cards to accompany that. So group three, some of the energies I see in your reading is Taurus and Cancer, Leo and Gemini, Aquarius as well, and Aries too. So those might be some energies you're dealing with at the moment or this month or areas in your chart activated. But anyway, let's start with the current self and where you may find yourself is the Nine of Wands. So at this time, things might be a little bit stressful for you. You could be thinking the worst about a situation. You could be really, really troubled trying to figure something out, um, wanting answers, wanting to know, but not able to shake away the confusion perhaps and see clarity. Um, <clears throat> could be really worried that the worst is going to happen in a situation you, you so you could be entering the month with a little bit of stress uh with the nine of swords being there but the theme of the month is going to be the eight of wands so there's going to be a lot of communication this month and a lot of movement forward you're going to get a lot more clarity about where you're headed you may have a little bit more teamwork supporting you this month i just see all these wands coming together in this one to for a common cause so you might see people putting their heads together a bit um this month and yeah a lot of communication is is definitely happening whether it's some of it's not going to be comfortable communication i can clearly tell you that i mean it's a whole month we're reading here and there's just going to be a lot of talk this month around your direction around what you're doing um, people may have questions for you i feel like that for sure but there's certain people i think that want to help you and I'm getting that there's a resistance to be helped by a certain someone this month when I'm looking at this card. So if that's you, there's something about just maybe uh, looking at it from a different perspective or just staying open. Uh, if it's not for you, it's not for you. But there is a consideration here that someone might be trying to help you with something or even spirit might be trying to help you in a certain direction that you might feel like, oh, no, it's not for me or that's not going to work or but it actually may um this so do stay open when that comes up for you this month in the keys uh key goal for you to pursue this month is well we have the chariot and the seven of wands came together so this is about confidence and standing up for what you believe in heading in the direction that is right for you so that might also be a little bit of that resistance like something coming to guide you or pressure you even um and you're saying no to that or you're, you're building the confidence to be able to stand up and speak on your own behalf and say what you need say what you want so the goal to pursue this month is to strengthen and liberate yourself but to also um yeah build a lot of confidence build a lot of confidence with your direction forward some of you might be moving that might be a goal to pursue is to move house or maybe even purchasing a new car or something like that something to do with transport or movement um or a mobility aid perhaps as well someone might be getting assistance with mobility aids or something like that you definitely feel that for someone um now i'm going into like sore knees and ligaments and things i don't know why we'll get out of that cul-de-sac <laughs> but i guess somebody might be wanting to it might be a goal to achieve is to support your bones or your ligaments or something like your structure you might be feeling a little sore or had an injury uh, and there's need to recovery from that need for movement and there might be a little resistance there a little bit of challenge in amongst all of that there is challenge in your goal um and yeah i feel like with the seven of wands like you'll get and maybe with the eight of wands too like somebody i feel like somebody's trying to push something on you or maybe or um just 
some one of the conversations is not going to be a comfortable one and someone's got all these ideas in their head about how things should go perhaps or um, and they could be an authority part of that feels like an authority in a way as well um, and so yeah seven of ones in your goal to pursue well the goal is to defend yourself protect yourself and liberate yourself so the obstacle this month is the five of wands so this conflict with numerous people um, this could be a group this could be family dynamic um, this could be in a workplace as well of course it's just not working out for you um, or there's a lot of misunderstandings or just conflict in general nobody's really on the same page here or perhaps you're not feeling like they're on your page so the five of wands is going to be your obstacle this month is arguments with people and maybe trying to avoid those arguments as well um kind of got the with the seven of wands next to it your comp your you know focus on your goals rather than like she's really turning her head away from that and choosing her own inner peace so although it is an obstacle it, your goal to pursue this month is to perhaps be able to deal with this in a way that is not affecting you too negatively not taking it on board too much but um, but yeah, still able to find your own inner peace, inner sanctum and come from that place with the seven of wands being there. And I just love that poise she's got as well. Yoga as well is a goal to pursue this month. I just realized with her, her position, what she's doing, where she's sitting, meditation also, absolutely meditation with visualization. So, um, particularly, um, you know, those guided meditations, you go on a little adventure journey, things like that might be really nice, but your practices this month of, of yoga and meditation or anything around that but you know clearly she's got yoga pants on and she's sitting there cross-legged so uh, your accomplishment yes your accomplishment this month is the Sun and Gemini or the Sun Leo and Gemini the Sun and the lovers the, your accomplishment is that there's going to be a lot of growth for you this month and a, and a big turn with positivity. Given that you enter the month with the Nine of Swords, you, the way is going to be shown for you in some area of your life and you're going to feel like you can commit to that choice. Your accomplishment is that there's going to be a lot of illumination, a lot of awareness, a lot of understanding. The, sh the light is going to be shed on a situation where you are then able to make a choice and and move forward and commit to that choice there's something here this month where you get to make a really big choice for yourself and it's a positive one but also just feeling joy feeling happiness you see she's dancing with arms wide open to the sun um and yeah obviously spending time in the sun is always going to be beneficial so getting your vitamin D but yeah or definitely with the accomplishment being there the sun and the lovers um, this could be a positivity positive turn in a relationship as well like it doesn't have to be an intimate relationship but it can be that there's a lot of new energy coming into a connection where there's more understanding and yeah but what I mostly feel is a freedom in all of this and like a like the way forward is shown and or the something you wanted to know was illuminated or this month is illuminated this month and it gives you this opportunity to to make some sort of choice for yourself like you have and it's yeah it's very very liberating for you so what to avoid this month we have the king of wands king of wands can be your energy or another if it's in another this can be a quite a stubborn person or somebody who um in the area of what to avoid right this is somebody who perhaps wants to be a leader or the one who makes the decisions in a situation or maybe they have the authority to do so maybe they that is them but you're asked to avoid this energy so I feel like if you're especially considering we've got the chariot the seven of wands here and then the king of wands up the top and if you're avoiding this energy then I dare say that you just want to go your own way and although this person may want to lead you in a certain direction then you know you might not want to listen to that person and I don't think that's the same person as whatever I was saying down here where someone there's going to be something when you're not even a person it could just be spirit leading you in a direction like oh I don't know if that's for me stay open a little longer and meditate on it then decide if it's for you or not i think that's the advice with that one but this is a different scenario this could be your energy as well of course where you might be taking off uh, taking on a little bit more than you can chew 
or um, you might feel like you know things that are, are not really sustainable for you right now and you've got the card sustainability so if you're avoiding this energy you don't want to be taking on too much um, but if it is someone else then yeah it's somebody who's trying to dictate or lead the situation because there's leadership energy um, it could be an ex that could be a person you want to evolve, avoid um, uh, Aries, Leo and Sag is the wand's energy but doesn't have to be that of course uh, there is a big lion behind them I almost want to get more information but we should probably just leave it there's the king of pentacles definitely a lot of masculine energy maybe there's a f masculine energy you want to avoid at the moment um, and just stick to yourself it could be a boss that's just it doesn't somebody who doesn't get you maybe or um it, it can be like I'm getting like a bit of a selfish person like they just their life or they they only have their vision and they can't really incorporate your vision very well maybe um yeah two of wands with the blindfold uh two of swords sorry with the blindfold there um I feel like some of the things this person, there's eight of cups there, some of the things this person said to you may really get to you at times and make you doubt yourself as well and you're not needing that, you're needing to believe in your own vision for things. So yeah, people that taint the waters, I think, avoiding that energy. Eight of cups is there as well, walking away from things that just aren't working anymore, right? The, she's, but she's walking towards a new horizon, something that's actually a lot better. There is still a, there's still a flame here, so something is still alive that you walk away from. Um, but it's still you're going to the greatest source of your happiness which actually that's cool because your accomplishment was the sun and that's that's where you're headed towards this month so you are leaving something behind this month and, and knowing where you're headed and feeling good about that direction so what to embrace in February is the three of Pentacles so teamwork and cooperation and collaborations so what to embrace is other people, groups of people, people that you can work with, people that you can share a common goal and work together on it. Everybody has different contributions though. So this is also something to embrace is people's differences and your own differences and understanding that they all have value and they all have a you know, valuable contribution here. Um, respecting differences of opinions, things like that are gonna be important this month um, for sure with embrace there where to find support is within the king of cups people who are gentle and understanding nurturing and kind um, these this could be somebody you already know this is pisces scorpio and um, cancer energy water sign but does not have to be those signs at all of course it could be in another area of your chart that you don't even know about but anyway um, the king of cups is an energy where you can get support this month so leaning on the energy this doesn't have to be a man or masculine it can be a feminine person as well female whatever um and sound healing actually where to get support we've got a singing bowl there and the beach and things like that so things to do with sound and water things like that are going to be very healing for you but yeah also this particular energy if you know them or people who are like that people who are connected to their emotions maybe even a therapist might be supportive for you at this time someone to talk to someone who let, let your feelings out and make sense of what's going on or um, somebody who can help yeah understand your emotions or understand um yeah also intuitive people I, I feel with that king of cups very intuitive energy the advice for february is the fool and the star more major arcana energy so it really does look like big changes happening in your world um oh what's the details actually i wouldn't say the big changes are happening yet all the details are happening so that the big changes can happen that's where it's at um but in the advice this is to embrace new beginnings uncharted territory taking leaps of faith taking risks not sure where you're going to land or what's going to happen but you're going to go for it anyway and you're going to hold on to hope that it's going to be a really really good outcome for you because it is this the fool is asking you to trust and hold hope um yeah trust your intuition for sure she's holding an amethyst there in the full card but yeah have have hope that spirit is guiding you, you haven't been forgotten you've not been left behind you are exactly where you need to be and everything you need to know will be illuminated as you need to know it given this um what was it the sun which i I must have put it back in the deck and replaced it with the eight of cups that's fine you're making a choice to the accomplishment might be making that choice to walk away hey 
So we're going to move into your oh underlying energy. I'm also going to do charms. Don't let me forget. Oh, God, we got the emperor and the devil just there and the empress. So you could be dealing with family situations. We got the, de the, de the death card as well. Big changes within family or home. Parents, um, co-parenting situations can come up here. Feeling maybe a little bit controlled or manipulated as well. The devil here, emperor here. And the emperor's got the chess piece, so it's like they're calling the shots, that type of thing, or it's coming back to that king of wands who someone's trying to lead a situation. Um, and we've got the somebody getting to your head, so that's what I was feeling before. Some of these things people might say might make you doubt yourself or feel like his puppeteer on strings here is not feeling in control at all. It's a very nine of swords. So somebody has got you worried, but you need to just come back into empress energy and nurture yourself, take care of yourself. Um, believe in yourself, come back to confidence, meditation, things, the practices that ground you are very important this month in dealing with this energy. But the underlying card I wanted to get, I just see the seven of wands there, seven of swords there as well. So do be careful of um, just manipulation or any, any shortcutting. You know, seven of swords can be sneaky energy. So something to be aware of. But Seven of Cups is the underlying energy. So at this, this month, you may feel overwhelmed with choice or confusion. Um, a little bit <coughs> afraid to make the wrong choice. Um, not having all the information you need yet to make an informed decision. Things like that. You might feel a bit of pressure this month to know, but you don't yet. And that's okay. Like we said before, you will know when you're meant to. But coming up to your Oracle cards now, you've got the last quarter moon in Gemini uh, with Clear Your Mind definitely a need to clear your mind and meditate i'm coming back to that beautiful pose here a meditation pose to just relax even even this person here is sort of meditating and looking off into the scenery here into the cosmos whatever planet they're on it's a bit like earth but yeah it is, it is a time to try your best to sort of let go of any of the stress and overthinking and just trust that you are guided affirmations around that can be thank you spirit for guiding me always just that over and over again perhaps um, or find your own wording that feels right and true for you to give thanks because if you look back in your life you've always been given what you've needed at the time you've needed it and you'll you'll be able to see that you know eventually You've, you've needed you've got the information required to make your choice and you've you've never really made the wrong choices all about learning so thank you spirit for guiding me always and staying open to that guidance so you've got the card simplify as well this is definitely a time to uh, simplify right sustainability is in your cards as well so these these two go hand in hand sustainability and sixth house is all about your work routines and also your health regimes things like that your um, yeah, your to-do lists, your responsibilities, the things you show up for every single day, um, children, all those things can be here. But even simplify, clear your mind. You know, a lot of this is asking you to really just step back and take care of yourself a little bit this month and only do, like, don't take off more than you can chew. If this King of Wands is your energy that you're wanting to avoid, like no, not over overburdening yourself with responsibility, but yeah, just taking on what you're capable and ready for. Maybe some things you want to do, but you're not quite ready yet. And it needs a little bit more cultivating or time. We got, you got Taurus cultivate here. Um, yeah, sustainability simplify. What's in simplify I'm seeing here. I wonder if we want to go to the little book here and see, oh, one page off. Affirmation is I'm ready to simplify my life with appreciation and joy. Uh, okay. As you simplify, do I want to read the whole thing? I'm going to read the whole thing perhaps. You Have you collected a lot of things for a lot of reasons? Some of the items you've accumulated may bring you comfort or remind you of a specific memory. You may have collected things that you had to go without during a leaner time. You may have piles of boxes of stuff that you don't have the time or energy to clear out. Simplifying and decluttering your environment has many benefits. As everything stores energy, having an excess can cause you to feel stressed out. Removing clutter from your environment clears out old energy. As you simplify, you may find your anxiety leaves you. As you simplify your life, you will find that you have more time. You won't need to spend as much time cleaning, organizing, and looking for the stuff that you have. 
you will have the space to figure out where you want to focus your energy. Look at the items in your home or office and determine whether you use or need them. There are many methods you can use to simplify your life by reducing clutter, eliminate the excess from your life using an approach that resonates with you. In the process of decluttering, you may find you feel more content. You may, feel, you may discover you have more energy and as your home feels more peaceful. As you declutter your environment, you open space for relationships and new interests. You will free up time and energy that can be shared with people in your life. You might also realize you are more mindful and present in your life without all of the distractions which is the seven of cups in a nutshell. So yeah, clearing, clearing clutter definitely and simplifying your, your day, your routine, your life, your mind, your mind in particular. So we had cultivate something that you are cultivating is going to take time, and, but it's worth your attention and it's worth your energy. And sustainability, we spoke on that already, maintaining sustainability. Not, over, not overdoing it and if you are starting it's like sustainability is particularly important when you're starting something new uh, or a new project or a plan or something and it's a big thing you want to achieve but sustainability means taking it one step at a time and not grabbing it all like really um, minimizing simplifying breaking down the steps writing to-do lists if it's, if, it's a, if it's a mountain too high to climb then write down the steps and start slowly simplifying the process for yourself you have a full moon in Aries where the fiery climax approaches. Your obstacle was the five of wands as well. So you can expect there to be some sort of fiery climax with a person or a group of people this month um, that is necessary, it's needed. Uh, it may clear the air or it may cause that, you know, that explosion that lets things land where they're supposed to. It feels like it's definitely supposed to be this way. In your... Um, what are these? Your, your personal power cards this month. You have I Surrender and I Trust in Divine Timing. That's your two personal power cards for this month. So to just trust and, and to surrender. I think you already know. Some people getting that message and probably rolling their eyes about it a little bit. Um, I felt that when it first came out. It's like, jeez. Oh, but that is how it is and you know i feel like when i'm connecting to this maybe it's the crone in this image or something but i'm feeling like the depth of your wisdom is like and the connection with source the spirit your guides is quite humorous as well at times i mean not always but i mean yeah i do feel like i'm just connecting too much an, an older woman like this sort of maybe this age and the, this, I'm just getting such a playful connection with spirit where you, you know, there's an open dialogue and you will laugh and you'll cuss out and you know you'll but you always have that knowing that you know spirit does guide you and you can surrender and you can trust in divine timing although your human mind resists certain fights against things there's a part of you that really does know and it's, it's a deep connection you've got I feel it there um, and so fall into that fall into that no like I'm getting like a best friend with spirit type of feeling like just know she's got your back that type of thing you have the card nature this is your quality time card for this month getting a bit of time in nature go and watch some duckies by the pond take a little walk uh, however it is for you wherever you can go go to a bit of time in nature your own little garden and then we have some tea leaf oracles and these were interesting your first three were new job and or career with pin and then you got february which is the month i'm reading for and career so you're going to definitely be having a change of career or at least the ideas are coming in this month where you you know where you want to go that you're ready for a new a change or you're ready to step into a certain career and then you have tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead I like that, believe it, know it, you are, even if it feels like there's no progress and it's going round and round or something, you are getting ahead. You had disappointment in some affair with scissors, but you also had victory in some endeavor. So you win some, you lose some this month, group three, that's for sure. But it is a time to surrender and trust, simplify, clear your mind, ground yourself, all of those things. So it, it, it will be, it will be, and then I think coming back to that angel courts now, I th oh, that's right, charms. Thanks for reminding me. It will be one of those things where I feel like 
you know, seeing the beauty in the world is a part of our own inner state. So shifting your perception on this situation or the people you're dealing with might be helpful in the way you handle it or the way it, you know, it could be much worse if you engage in a certain way, if that makes sense. So let's take that away from you. <clears throat> We'd like some charms for group three. Oh, there's a sweet little butterfly. It's like all you got. Usually a whole bunch full. I'm going to get more. But you just got this gorgeous little butterfly. So it is definitely a time of transformation for you. But let's let's see what else is coming through. Um, they're not wanting to come out. There we go. All right. Okay. Mm, on my finger here. Um, and something dropped... Oh, there it is. Oh, a little baby bottle dropped down. And it's a sweet little baby bottle. So some of you may be having news of a new child in the family or something like this. But it can also be about new birth and nurturing something that is new. So giving it what it needs so that it becomes what it needs to become. That type of message with the baby bottle there. And if it's not about a new family member coming in, some of you will be that message. But for others, it is about nurturing that new life so that it can become what it needs to become. You've got the um, little, what is it called, a dream catcher. And this one is about following your wild dreams, believing in the impossible and going for it. Even if people don't believe in what you're doing or understand more about people don't understand. I don't think it's about belief. It's more about they don't understand it. Um, but that's okay, they don't need to. This is about you following your dreams and doing what's right for you. And it did fall on the Eight of Cups and the Lovers card. So, you know, you may have to walk away for some, well, from something for your dreams to actually come true. Uh, so you had this one falling down on the Nine of Swords. So you might feel like you're off path. You might, you know, it might be the biggest thing is you feel like you could be better utilized in a different place, that you're not able to tap your abilities uh, in the way you, you know with your full potential or something feeling like you're not quite reaching your full potential or, or that you feel you know destined for something greater than this situation and so that's coming out because I feel and it, I think it was reversed it landed on my finger um, I, I feel like it's to say because the way it landed on my finger too and you know, I heard it, well it's in your hands um, so yeah Something about that is in your hands this month. So we've also got the same as group two, actually, a little foxy, but it was facing down. Um, so somebody, and we saw the seven of swords before, somebody might be a little bit sneaky this month and be hiding it, or maybe even yourself wanting to hide your plans and keep things under wraps because it was face down. Um, now, I feel with this one, it, this is definitely negative thinking, um, but... I'm also getting a bit of suppression as well. So it might be beneficial to um, either see a practitioner or do some, some of your own practices and things that help clear out some old negative energies. Um, get like a, a bit of stress, a bit of, a bit of stress in this one. Facing down though, I feel like, yeah, this month it'll be something you do put behind you and I think you're going to feel like an immense amount of relief when you no longer have that burden you like you feel like the way is easing or something and then we had this little plane upside down however so it, you might feel like yeah things are maybe crashing and burning or that things you know are not um you're not in control of the way things are going or the direction of things. You may feel like you're not in control and it makes sense that they're the ones that are all together. They're all face down. So it, to me, it tells me that this is an issue you will overcome and likely by the end of this month, be reflecting on it like, how is that even a part of my, my world, my day or my thoughts, you know, because now you feel so different. So I just want to see, I saw that one. Is there anything else? the peg <laughs> get the work done the peg and defend yourself with the crab claw as well so needing to just get your duties done this is about you know ticking off to-do lists and cleaning the home things like that you know doing the peg getting your things done so that you support your goals and dreams for the future 
but also the little crab core came out as well. So that's the very match with the five of wands. You may be experiencing a bit of tension with people and people that are a bit snappy or defensive or something, but you've already got your message of what you're to do with that to energy. So you'll, you'll be okay managing um, this, this, this month, I want to say. You will be okay managing this month. I love that the first one out was the little butterfly. So it is very much a time of, of growth for you. A lot of growth for you. So group three, that is what I have for you in this reading. I hope that it's given you some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance. And I look forward to reading for you all again soon. Bye.